conducted a um, study that really uh, could have quite an effect on uh, the management of gout. Tell me a little bit about it, please. Okay, this is the second part of a previous study that we published some years ago, showing that developing severe gout is associated to increased risk of uh, premature mortality compared with the uh, population and compared with patients not showing features of severe gout. Unfortunately, to that moment, we had not power enough to get any conclusion from treatment. So at that point, we were disappointed because severe, severe gout was associated with the mortality but could not find a signal for treatment. So at that point, treatment was not associated with improved outcomes. So we decided to extend the cohort, wait for some years, include more patients, and we have done a second analysis, this time including over 1,200 patients with a follow-up a uh, mean time of over four years that makes close to 5,000 patients a year and including variables that are not contemplated in most of the databases such as having flares, having x-ray involvement, number of flares, number of joints involved that are variables specifically for the disease and uh, that gives added value to the fundings because no other database to our knowledge all over the world has got such information from clinical practice. And the key finding was the importance of reaching the optimal serum, your, your right level. Yeah, our outcome uh, variable was uh, analyzing whether patients who did not reach the serum urate target that is recommended by both the American College of Rheumatology and the ULAR, the European League Against Rheumatism therapeutic target that is lower than six milligrams per deciliter. We have found out that in the small percentage of patients who did not reach close to 15%, fortunately, these patients had an increased ratio, a risk of a premature death above twofold compared to those patients who did reach the target serum urate level. So to that point, independently of previous cardiovascular events, high diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, there was a signal that it is important to control serum urate levels in patients with gout. So this is an independent risk factor for premature mortality, yeah? Yeah, that is that in, we make an, what we call cost survival analysis. That means that you uh, weight your findings depending on the time you are following up patients and there is uh, a statistical uh, way to analyze that showing that no other variable is influencing the results. So for example death is usually associated unfortunately to age but we even find that there was independent from other, other comorbid conditions, renal function, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, age, gender, whatever, even previous vascular event did not influence the fact that not reaching target therapeutic serum urate levels was associated with increased risk. So I think then it sounds like the message for physicians is uh, intensify treatment if need be, push to get below that threshold, yeah? Uh, if, uh, if I'm allowed, I wouldn't say identify, by, but, but the message would be do your best. And as I, as I said before, uh, you know how to do it. You have the knowledge, you have the means, do the effort to reach the target. We do it for diabetes, we do it for hypertension, we do it for hyperlipidemia. Why not doing it for gout patients who are the targets of rheumatology uh, care? What is uh, the main source of the increased, the more than twofold increase in mortality with failure to reach the therapeutic target? Uh, as we knew previously from previous reports, half the patients died from a cardiovascular mortality. Actually, in, uh, in Europe and developed countries, one third of the patients die from cardiovascular mortality. That means that we have an excess of cardiovascular mortality in patients with gout. And we have to consider gout as an inflammatory disease. So we know that inflammation, sustained inflammation through time, is associated with in re increased risk of mortality, especially associated with cardiovascular events. 
Very good. That's an important message for physicians. Thank you. Thanks.